But first, our top story tonight. Football fans and many others across the nation are praying for the recovery of Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin after he suffered a cardiac arrest during the game in Cincinnati last night. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 6. I'm Steve Moore. And I'm Catherine Guyon. In a statement, team officials say the 24-year-old's heartbeat was restored on the field and that he is currently sedated in critical condition. The game was postponed with a heartbreaking incident visibly shaking the players and the fans. The reality of what can happen in football was shocking to fans and viewers everywhere, but how can high school coaches make it clear to young players without causing undue panic? DK Wright spoke with two football players and an assistant coach at Wheeling Park High School today. Here's her coverage. It is part of sport. You hope to never see it happen, hope to never be involved, but that is a uh, risk that is assumed when you play, this, play any sport, really. Assistant coach Tim Ickes says a coach needs to reassure young players that this is rare and unlikely to ever happen to them. One park player, Keon Stevens, did have a frightening experience last year. I took a big hit to the head. I fell to the ground and my whole body got numb. I was coughing up blood and it was scary because I thought I'd never play again the way I was feeling. And seeing that everybody stopped, stopped the game, it meant a lot to me. Seeing the Bills-Bengals game stop Monday night was significant to viewers around the nation and here. Well, I was watching this. It was like, it was definitely really scary. And I'm glad the NFL, like, they forgot about the game and was worried about the players' health more than anything. Park's assistant coach says you can't focus on avoiding injuries. You need to make sure you focus on playing at full speed as well because some injuries happen at half speed when you're thinking about the injury, am I going to get hurt and that sort of thing. And you've got to kind of say, you know, reassure the athletes that they're going to be safe and they're going to be fine. In Wheeling, DK Wright for 7 News, working for you. Thank you, DK. Keon Stevens, the Wheeling Park player who was injured last year, remembers what it was like as the game stopped and then the E squad drove onto the field to help him. Fortunately, he recovered quickly and was back home that night. As fans and players rally around DeMar Hamlin, many are showing support by making donations to his charity fundraiser. He launched the Chasing M's Foundation Community Toy Drive back in 2020. The drive benefits Kelly and Nina's daycare center in his hometown of McKees Rocks, Pennsylvania, which is a suburb of Pittsburgh. Chasing M's is also his clothing brand, which stands for Chasing Millions. The fundraiser had a goal of $2,500. At last check this afternoon, it surpassed $3 million. Well, switching gears, checking in on that forecast, rainfall plummeted, causing some flood warnings in the Ohio.